I've got all the basics, I think. To be honest, I haven't checked the supply chest in a while. If I run out of gummy bugs, there's gonna be a riot. You have gummy bears? Can I get some? Come on. How's it? Right. We may not employ part of the destination today, but there's always work to do here. This here is a particle fracking station, not a tourist destination. I'd clear out of here if I were you. Things can get dicey during a blast if you're not used to it. of work to do, which we can't really get to while you are still here. It's not so Might not be Jemison, but this ship is starting to feel like home. Ship's good.
stable orbit achieved. We can stay here forever. Well, for a while anyway. Please disregard. I attempted an informal greeting, but I am dissatisfied with the results. Hello, and welcome back. Mr. Tofik, I am aware that this is your eighth visit to our resort. Your repeat patronage is much appreciated. Is there any assistance I may... the beauty of this world but this time our entry seemed to take uh, longer and we passed by a lot more open water was there something wrong with our normal flight path i heard the rumors of a ship in orbit please allow me to apologize for this inconvenience this alternate entry was required due to a meteor shower Welcome to Paradiso. Jiro Sugiyama at your service. Do you have a security concern, or is there something else I can help you with? Ah, yes, of course. I'm glad you came. As you can imagine, we're in a bit of a predicament. I see that. Under normal circumstances, we would not enlist outside help in this manner. But this is a matter we can't afford to worry our guests about. Oh, no, I understand. As such, we need to handle this discreetly. Failure on your part to do so could have severe consequences. So, 
Before we proceed, can you swear not to discuss this with anyone else unless explicitly directed to do so? Great. I appreciate it. No Not too long ago, a strange and enormous ship appeared in Parima space. It is now locked in orbit around our planet. So far, it doesn't seem to be hostile, but any attempts to communicate with it have been in vain, so we're unsure of the ship's intentions. It bears no discernible markings or allegiances to any manufacturers we're aware of. I'm hoping that doesn't mean we're dealing with some sort of new deep space threat. Can't say for sure. Looks worn, but not cobbled together like a crimson fleet junker. Others have been saying it's some new Varun design, a gigantic battleship with hidden armaments preparing for assault, but that doesn't check out either. There's also been talk about non-human sentient life. The comms data we received might support that, but humanity's spread far and wide, and no one's ever encountered anything like that. Still, first contact. Could you imagine? I, uh, yeah, I can. Uh, that matches our experience with it as well. Since you've already tried to hail them, you may have to go straight to boarding the ship. Whatever you do, it's important to remember to seek diplomacy with who or whatever's on board. As soon as you have any more information, report to Oliver Campbell. He's the CEO of Paradiso. All formal decisions will need to go through him. Right, You'll have right. your pay. Good luck. We'll get it done, brother. Service, Captain. It's just that we weren't expecting to find life, let alone human life out here. We thought we were the only ones to leave Earth. 
Imagine being cut off from humankind for that long. How terribly frightening that would be. Perhaps we should greet our guests. Of course. Manners. I'm Captain Diana Brackenridge. This is Security Officer Bomani Reader. Hmm. And this is Dr. Mabuti Da Costa, one of our elders. Uh, A pleasure to meet you. I'm Neil Armstrong. I see. Here now. As you may have presumed, we're in a bit of a bind. Our ship has finally completed its near 200-year journey from Earth, only to find our new home seemingly colonized by... Well, we don't know. Communications haven't been successful, so your arrival is fortuitous. Perhaps you'd be willing to act as a middle person between ourselves and... the others. We're not entirely sure. Our engineers believe it's possible that our technology just isn't compatible with theirs. All we hear when using them to communicate with anyone is a bunch of disturbing noise. It gave me the heebie-jeebies at first. We do. Well, sort of. We saw structures using our surveying equipment. We've also seen the various ships pass us by. Some even seemed to want to communicate, but couldn't. Of course, we had no idea that they were being piloted by other humans. Okay. Well, the short answer is, we didn't. It's a generation ship, which is to say that most of us lived long, happy lives on board and passed our mission down to our children. It was never intended that the original crew would make it to our destination. The goal was always the preservation of the human race above all else. Though, it would seem that was perhaps a bit <laughs> presumptuous. Okay. Ah, your question confirms one of our recent theories. It would seem that some form of faster-than-light travel or space-bending technology was invented during our long journey. That would explain why we would find people this far out into space. I guess technology leapfrogged us at some point. Interesting. I can only imagine that our predecessors didn't believe the technology would ever work. And so, they made the decision to leave when they did. Of course, we know that now. Human or not, we were still unable to communicate our intentions. As soon as we discovered them, we fully expected negotiations would be necessary. Now then, please follow me. There's much to discuss first. We'll speak more on the matter once we reach the bridge. Dr. DaCosta, right. you may return to your quarters if you wish. Thank you, Captain. I will follow you to the bridge, my for security purposes. I do not believe we have need to fear our guest, but I'll allow it if you insist. Welcome to the Earth colony ship Constant. In the early 2100s, my ancestor, Rupert Brackenridge, researched a number of scientific scenarios, climate change, asteroid impact, nuclear war, global pandemic, and more. Each scenario showed the likelihood of an extinction level event to be within 50 years. He fully believed Earth was destined to be rendered uninhabitable. We've always assumed that's what happened. Just because so, our equipment he gathered the best and brightest he could find, use. built the constant, and set a course for this planet here. We were told that it was the largest, most advanced ship ever constructed on Earth at the time. Okay. If you can believe, entire generations have been born, lived, and died on this ship. It really goes to bodies. show that there are no limits to human ingenuity and perseverance. Just now that we know what's out there, things will be more interesting from here on out. Just stay out of trouble. Shut up. So, I have to say, with technology this outdated, I'm amazed this vessel is able to navigate at all. It's almost like walking through a museum. No matter the outcome, I won't let my crew down. A bit frazzled, as you can imagine. People are anxious about discovering that we're not alone, and also worried about what will come to pass. 
while we hope we can work out a deal with the people on the surface, they seem reluctant to reach out, so there's no telling what will come of that. I do know that we can't afford to stay here in orbit forever. The ship was built to sustain us for many years with backup provisions just in case, but even that will come to an end eventually. I think I'm coming up on six years now. I was only a teenager when my father died, passing command of the ship to me, as is tradition. Because of that, I've had to sort of learn as I go along, instead of taking years of study and apprenticeship under the prior captain. I think some people on the ship resent me for not having the level of experience as my predecessors. But at the same time, without my command, we likely wouldn't have made it here so quickly. Difficult is the wrong word. It can be both challenging at times and also exciting. Our mission was to rebuild humanity on a distant world, believing that we were Earth's last hope. To think that while there has always been a bracken ridge in the captain's chair, that I am the one to finally oversee our journey's end is truly exhilarating. Yeah, but with this stumbling block in our there. path, at this final moment, I fear tough choices will need to be made. What? Well, as I mentioned, we've been unsuccessful in communications with anyone up until you arrived, hey. though not for lack of trying. But since you're asking, maybe you'd be willing to be a sort of diplomat between us and them yeah, as yeah. we attempt yeah. to resolve our yeah, situation. Whatever. Does that sound agreeable to you? We know there's a settlement on the planet below, <coughs> meaning people were here before us. You see, we intended to settle here, but we assume that they intend to defend their claim, given their presence here. We'd like you to go speak to them on our behalf and help us negotiate a solution, preferably one that favors us. Yes, yes, of course. But we need to start from a firm position and state our goal. If need be, we can compromise, work out a mutually beneficial deal or some such. But initially, I'd like you to be firm with them and convince them to leave the planet to us. Let me know how they respond, and we'll go from there. They're not gonna leave the planet. We thought about it. But it simply won't do. I need to think about the distant future of our people. Sure, our first settlement may be small, but our predecessors dreamt of our new civilization spreading across the globe. That will be difficult if someone else plans to do the same. While we're not completely close to the idea of sharing, it's much easier if we have complete domain over this world. You're a fucking tripping. I'm serious. We have a rightful claim to this land, and I intend to fight for it. But as you're currently our only hope, perhaps you'll honor my request and give it your all, for the sake of some very weary travelers who have come a very long way to be here. Thank you. Yeah, good luck with that. Never seen a ship like yours before. for a nap before we leave? Hmm?
your stay is a pleasant one. I have noted your repeat appearance at our resort. Thank you for your patronage. You have been automatically credited with 20% off your next stay. Welcome back, esteemed guests. Thank you for once again choosing Paradiso for your vacation destination. It is my sincerest I'm wish that this now. humble robot servant has brightened your day. Yeah. If I have failed in any way, you should inspect your ship for heat leeches every sorry. couple landings. I'm sure you can find something you like. Okay, no problem.
die. Something I can help you with? Ah, oh, it has a name. Good. Then you're already familiar with the situation, I take it. Do you know what they want? Interesting. We obviously have no records of a colony ship claiming this planet. Whatever the case, you'll need to speak with Oliver Campbell. A CEO for the Paradiso Group. He's in charge of bringing all formal decisions before the board and helping to make calls on them. I'll let him know you're on your way. Might also be the perfect time to stop for some food or a tranquility. Where should we begin? Excuse me, you can't just waltz in there. Do you have an appointment? You're the one they're waiting for, then. Do you need anything else from me before you meet with the board? <laughs> what I could tell you would get me in a lot of trouble. Most of them are typical C-level execs. I doubt you even need to use your imagination for that. The ones that show up to work day to day, at least. I swear, I've never even met some of them because they chill at their own private secluded beach homes all the time. Anyway, be smart around Oliver. He's got a way of getting what he wants without you realizing it. And that's all I'll say. Sure, have fun in the shark tank. Uh, and don't worry, even they call it that. Hope you're staying safe out there. I here. just feel that we should be focusing on the natural beauty of this planet. Not our amenities. There are millions of planets out there. People can go to any one of them. The resort You're lucky facilities I'm not like are the other board members, blazing the about the beaches without a care in the universe. I am. And you must be the diplomat Jiro told me about. Welcome, welcome. Normally I'd offer you an all inclusive stay at our resort before we spoke. But given these circumstances, I'm gonna cut to the chase. We've got our friends, the aliens, up there causing all sorts of problems for our resort. You like that? The marketing team came up with it. The thought is, if we can't get rid of them, it might actually attract more tourism. Come see the aliens. <laughs> Ah, we're being direct then. Good on ya. <laughs> so, what do you know about this dodgy ship I'm hearing all about? Well, that's something. Shame we can't just tell them kindly to bugger off. Something tells me that's not going to work. Now, tell me, what are we going to do about it? Give me some proposals, people. I need something to work with here. Hmm. We could offer to resettle them here. There's more than enough space. They could stay here. Temporarily. But it'll cost them. Quite a bit, too. 
They'd need to work off all their debts before being allowed to leave. Ah, uh, maybe not. <clears throat> what if we help them get out of here? Outfit their ship with a grab drive so they can find a new home. We could even lend our engineers to help and give their captain an updated star map. What do you think? Sounds costly. We can't absorb that cost, and it's unlikely they even have compatible currency, let alone enough for the transaction. Someone else would have to foot the bill. Oh, I swear this would be a lot easier if they ceased to exist entirely. Anyway, Seema's got the right idea. Either works for me. Just tell me what you want to do. We own this planet, they don't. Here at Paradiso, we don't like leaving things to chance. Who knows what these people will do with their land? Imagine the landscaping disasters they may come up with, and how that might mar the satellite imagery of the planet in our brochures. No, much better to assimilate them into our culture if they come here to live, rather than leave it to chance. And that's within your right. But as the CEO of Paradiso Group, I'm the one who has to make an approved decisions around here, not you. So, as much as I appreciate your feedback, it's not in the best interest of the Paradiso Group to take it into account. I didn't say that specifically. This would be a mutual contract for room and board in exchange for services rendered. Of course, there's no telling how long this arrangement will last, given the substantial costs we'd need to take on in order to accommodate them here, including their continued room and board. But this may save the resort on operating costs in the long term, as we'd be able to let go of some of our current paid staff. <laughs> It's not our responsibility to bear the brunt of that cost. We're being more than generous by offering the use of our engineering team to help install it. A custom grab drive can't come cheap, and I assume they have neither the monetary means nor the connections to get a hold of that kind of technology. That leaves the only other party in this negotiation. You. And which proposal will you be taking to the good captain? I assume there's a captain. They'd be hard-pressed to defend their claim in any courts. Our charter goes back years. It was registered with both the UC and Free Star Collective, per the Centaurus Proclamation. We may be outside the settled systems, but that charter's official as can be. I'm sorry, but you're going to need to be the one to break the news to them that they need to make a compromise or leave. Ah, good on you. You want to see a man named Benny St. James over at Hope Tech. He's the best in the business. If anyone can retrofit a 200-year-old ship with a modern grab drive, it'd be him. We'll coordinate our engineering team with his when you return. Though you may have to help the Constance engineers prepare for it on their end. Good luck. I know this was a difficult decision. But if it's any consolation, I think you've made the right choice. Yeah, Compared to the sense. destruction of their vessel and relegating them to a life of servitude, I'd say this is the best chance they've got. Right. On behalf of the Paradiso group, we appreciate your help. Heck, it's the only thing we've really got to offer. Uh, I don't want to risk us coming off as just another artificial, shady, trash fiddle dump like Neon. That's not who we are. It's beautiful out there, isn't it?
Restore our collective space. Hold while we scan your ship. Scan complete. You're clear to land. I don't want to hear any complaints. Right, talk, James. Ron hopes the best thing that's happened to this. Boop, boop, boop. You walk the factory floor? an eye on your valuables if you can't protect your oh oh hello i'm not used to people wanting to talk to me sure that sounds like me what can i do for you i'm a little busy but uh, i think i could spare some time oh you should have just said that of course I can help you. Oliver sent a courier ahead of you. I did some research on ships from that era, and I have a decent idea what we're dealing with. So grab drives didn't really take off until after the ship was built. But I've got access to an ancient grab drive that looks like it could be compatible. It's some minor adjustments. It's in good shape, too. Parts not cheap, though. Neither is the labor. Just pay the combined cost of parts and labor, and it's yours. Um, uh... It's a pretty big ask, given how rare these old grab drives are. Let's not close the door on this just yet. I keep telling myself I'm holding on to it for the right time. Perhaps this is that right time. Tell you what. Sounds like this is for a good cause. While I can't give you the part for free, I won't charge you for the work. Done right it is. I'll get to work on it right away. I recommend you go back to the ship and ask the captain to prepare for its retrofit. Standard stuff. I'm sure they have an engineer on board to help. We'll send the part along when it's ready and install it with the help of Oliver's people. Pleasure working with you. Yeah, you fucking suck.
calculating. And orbit stabilizing. Perfect.
to cycle the airlock and move. There's something I need to talk to you about. Ever since we talked about the Battle of Cassiopeia, I can't get what happened out of my mind. Was it that obvious? Oh, I thought I could handle these memories, but until I return to Cassiopeia, I'll never be able to put this to rest. I would like that. Actually, I need that. One problem, though. Pinpointing the crew's shuttle wreckage is going to be like trying to find a grain of salt in a sandbox. I think we need to start by locating my old campsite on Cassiopeia 1. What's there to tell? I survived. My crew didn't. Still, oh, I'll never forget my finger hovering over that launch button. Would I launch safely or explode into a fireball? It turned out that my shuttle had just enough power to allow an emergency landing on the planet's surface. I wouldn't call what I did a soft landing, but thank you all the same. My shuttle should have the telemetry tracking data for the other shuttle aboard. It should give us an idea where it went down. That's if scavengers haven't completely stripped my ship for parts. Hold on. I don't know the exact location of my survival campsite. For that, we are going to have to head to Mast and see if we can get the information from my old friend, Admiral Logan. Your instincts are right on target. Logan and I butted heads more than once during my time with the Navigator Corps. We've never seen eye to eye. Look, I hope this isn't asking too much. Last thing I want to do is drag you into some kind of personal crusade. Oh, no, it's fine, it's fine. That's why I'm desperate for your help. Truth is, I'm scared. When I set foot on Cassiopeia, I don't know if I'll be able to handle what I find. If I begin to fall apart, I need someone I can trust to hold me together. I know you will. You've always been there when I've needed your help. Why you continue to support me... Ah. I'll never understand. Oh, I feel the same way about you. Oh, I've been so busy searching the stars for answers. I've overlooked what's been in front of me all this time. True friendship. Something I've denied myself for far too long. Yes, you're absolutely right. Hey, um, anyway, I've taken up enough of your time. I know you have a lot to do. I really appreciate your offer to visit Cassiopeia. Hopefully, it'll bring me the closure that I've needed for far too long.
careful waving that fancy gun around. Just because our equipment's old, doesn't mean it won't work to take down trouble. Shut up. Wow. I've heard about you, but here you are. <laughs> I was hoping to talk to our visitor from outer space, and here you are! Welcome, welcome! I have a million burning questions, but I won't overwhelm you. There will be plenty of time for that later. Please, indulge me just a couple. How did you do it? Did humanity finally discover faster than light travel and eclipse our poor old ship? I read about this technology in our archives from Earth, but it was only theoretical back then. Amazing! I'll have to learn more. Oh, I've got so many questions, but I'm being rude. I haven't even given you my name. Chief Engineer Kazemi, but you can call me Amin. And, I might add, I'm one of the reasons we're still floating out here today. Yes, of course. Anything for my new friend. What crab drive? <laughs> Just joking with you. The Paradiso engineers filled me in. Okay. Let's see what we need to do. Hmm. All right. This will be fun. And hopefully there will be no explosions in the process. I have just received word that the drive is here. Ready to get to work? Great, great, great. There are three preparations I need you to help me make while I set things up on my end. First thing I need you to do is reroute the power from the port turbo pump to the auxiliary cryogenic radiator. Then, turn the plasma runoff inhibitor function to 5%. Last, you'll need to decouple the magnetic flange pipe enclosures from the auxiliary module assembly. Got it? Let's hop to it! <coughs> Sorry. tell you how many times I've had to make do with inelegant solutions to complex technical problems. Ah, uh, something wrong? There are three things we need to do. Reroute the power from the port turbo pump to the auxiliary cryogenic radiator. Turn the plasma runoff inhibitor function to 5%. Decouple the magnetic flange pipe enclosures from the auxiliary module assembly. Ah, uh, careful not to touch anything on your way out. Sure is nice to know there are other people out there. appreciate it. Uh, something wrong? There are three things we need to do. Reroute the power from the port turbo pump to the auxiliary. Turn the plasma run. Decouple the magnetic flange piping. Good luck out there.
life in the constant. I'm not sure how else to live. Keeping a 200 euro? Ah, uh, something wrong. There's still something left to do. Decouple the magnetic flange pipe enclosures from the auxiliary module assembly. See you! around here but they're strict for a reason now that you're here i can finally give my crew a chance at a new life we didn't believe anyone Brackenridge. would be out here that sounds so familiar break. something from history slates that i've read oh, i feel i should know who this person is but somehow it's escaped my memory well well it would appear we have the means to go nearly anywhere now thanks to you the engineers even upgraded our communications equipment so we can speak with passing ships. Turns out it was a pretty easy fix. Thank you again for all you've done. We don't yet know, but we did receive a star map from the Paradiso engineers. I suppose we'll just chart a course for other suitable habitable worlds until we find one that matches the quality of Paradiso. Um, Purima 2 here. Without you, we'd most likely be stuck. But you went above and beyond. I'll make sure people tell tales of your generosity for as long as our society lives. I don't know if we can ever fully repay you. Thank you again.
there are other people out there, we need to be more. There's so much more to learn about now. Waving that fancy gun around. We don't need to see. The word, and we'll get on the way. Anything I can help you with, Captain? No, I just shut up. Actually, I didn't mean that. I'm sorry. Releasing ship from dock. Done. We are now free.
bunking on the ship, but nothing is better than unwinding in your own quarters.
Okay. Yes? You needed something? Sarah Morgan. It's been what, almost ten years? Admiral, it's uh, good to see you again, sir. You're not required to address me as sir. That protocol ended the moment you dropped your clusters on my desk, remember? Look, Admiral, I'm not here to open old wounds. Old wounds is an interesting turn of phrase, given our past. Listen to me, Commander. I'm not sure why you're here, but whatever it is, why don't you just get to it? I'm here because I need your help, Admiral. You need my help. That's interesting. The last time we spoke, you made it quite clear that you were turning your back on the Navy. That was a decade ago. Things change. People change. Admiral, please. I didn't come here to argue. I'm here to come to terms with my past. Your past is sitting in a closed file in the archives. That's where you left it when you walked out on the United Colonies. And what about you? Just who in the blazes are you anyway? Very well. Then, as a good friend, Perhaps you could kindly explain to me why I shouldn't have the both of you escorted from the building. With all due respect, Admiral, this is ridiculous. If you have a problem with me, then there's no need to berate my colleague. I don't have a problem with you, Commander. I'm simply trying to determine why you deserve the Navy's help. That's quite a noble gesture. Is this true, Commander? It's about Cassiopeia, Admiral. I'm heading back there to find out what happened to the crew of the Dauntless, and hopefully, to bring their legacy home. That sounds like a dangerous operation. Are you certain it's worth the risk? I... I don't know. I understand. Mental scars left by war rarely heal quickly, if ever at all. I sympathize with your struggle, Commander. I want to put an end to the sleepless nights. The nightmares waking up in cold sweat. It's been difficult, Admiral. I understand. And I believe I owe you an apology, Commander. Our last encounter has obviously distorted my impression of your character. What can I do to help? If you wouldn't mind allowing me to access the files regarding my rescue, I'd be most grateful, Admiral. That shouldn't be too difficult. I've sent all the relevant information to you, Slades. Was there anything else? No, Admiral. Thank you. You don't need to thank me, Commander. I just hope you find whatever it is you're looking for. 
We should make sure we're well supplied for the trip to Cassiopeia. Let's go. Ready for takeoff in three, two, one, go. Pumping retros. Orbit achieved. Stabilizing. Done. Thank you. 
up your hands, Scanner. I bet you'll That's find plenty here to catalog. Captain Armstrong, do you require my assistance? Captain Armstrong, greetings. This must be some debris from my shuttle. Not exactly a textbook landing, but I didn't have much of a choice. Why do you have a moonshine thermometer and a moonshine pot? What were you doing here? Why do you have a syringe and a spoon and blood? Sarah.
Did you steal that from my box? I can't believe I'm here. It feels like walking into a dream. I'm okay. It's just so surreal. Phew. Okay, so let me get my bearings for a moment. Yes, yes, this looks correct. Those rock formations nearby look familiar. My old campsite shouldn't be far. We're already at it. I will, I promise. Ah, <sighs> once we get to the campsite, we'll use that. Ah, <sighs> let's go. I'm just curious, Sarah, as to why you got a syringe and a spoon. <laughs> you know what this looks like. Keep your eyes open for hostile people <coughs> dropping off a few choice items. Why? That's what you want to use. Run by me. I don't mind at all. Go ahead. After my rescue, the brass Ivan, when I pressed them on it, they told me it was wartime and command didn't have unlimited vessels and personnel available to scour the planet. All of the escape shuttles from the Dauntless carried a final memory dump from the ship's computers. I'm hoping to find some information inside of the wreckage. Let me know if you need anything else. Oh, nope, that is all. I'm anxious to find my old crash site. Come on. Oh, are you telling me that? Do I really gotta go back and get that power cell? that I just dumped from my inventory at the lodge. Oh, no. Alright. Well, this is it. This is the spot where I spent close to a year waiting for rescue. Not exactly Paradiso, is it? It was difficult and painful, but it kept me alive. It was home. Look at this thing. It's been sitting here rusting. I think we need to grab an emergency power cell to get the ship's computer up and running. Sure, if we're lucky. When I was stranded, I set up a distress beacon powered by emergency power cells. The beacon was up there on the plateau. I guess it's time to start climbing.
Setting up this beacon probably saved my life. Who knows how long I would have been stranded here. <laughs> Gonna bury you!
Okay. We've located where the other shuttle went down. <coughs> I can't believe our plan worked. And so modest, too. Hmm. The telemetry data puts the wreckage out of range to hike. We're going to have to head back to the ship and land on a different part of the planet. Let's get going. I'm done here. 